Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have another beautiful day here um, in Subsistence. So we're going to do pretty much the same thing we did last time. We're going to go out and look for a locked crate and loot. I am expecting one revenge attack from one of the hunter sets. I don't know who it's going to be, um, but I'm not expecting the other two to also hit us at the same time while we're away. So our base should be able to withstand a single attack. Um, I was thinking about maybe doing so, a little bit of building, but uh, we it, it's nails that we're really short on right now. Uh, we have a pretty decent amount of wood and planks and all of that. I think we have something like over 80 planks, uh, but uh, we're super low on nails. So we have got to hit these crates and go after nails. We are not really going to do any hunting to speak of at least not for the first part of the run we're we're just going after crates and then maybe later on in the day if all goes well uh, we'll do some hunting too okay so that being said let's uh get started with this oh you know what i do need to kill chickens though because i need feathers i'm very low on feathers so we will be going after them and probably we'll just keep hitting the rabbits too for the cloth so when I say no hunting, I mean no big game hunting. And that was a terrible shot, but at least we got our our arrow back out of the deal. Let's try this again. Oh my goodness. What in the world's going on here today? Well, we'll chase the chicken back to the base and kill him and then just throw him right in the fridge, I guess. There we go. No, actually we won't do that. Let's just keep going. No, actually, let's do it. <laughs> no, scatterbrained. Uh, just so uh, the meat doesn't go bad. Uh, we have three heat packs. Um, and I think we have a little more spoiled food, too. So I'm not deliberately trying to continuing to try and spoil food at this point. We might as well grab this fiber. And I don't spot any oh you know what though that might be an iron we need a, we need that let's go run over here and get this too that's the problem man i set off and leave the island to go looting and then when i come back especially prematurely like this there's more stuff to do and i just can't uh have a hard time leaving it there <laughs> but uh this is probably iron and we definitely need this uh, we're starting to build our iron back up but uh we had have nowhere near what you might call an abundance of it. Okay, let's grab that. And then I saw something over here, too. Uh, did I? Oh, yeah, this scrap. Let's grab that. And we'll grab that. And I think we're good. Okay, let's take a look at our chicken here. A doggone chicken will not give me another egg. Is it? Do I have to pull this one out for it to do it? I wouldn't think so. There's plenty of room for additional stuff in there, but I don't know. We'll just put that in there. I don't think we need to refrigerate the eggs, actually, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, let's butcher the chicken, get some more feathers. That'll top off our protein. Uh, that can go in there. This can go in there. That can go in there. And throw that iron in there. Okay. Uh, we have 18 arrows, so we're doing pretty good on the arrows. And let's go ahead and hit a liver and onions there to get nice and topped off here. And maybe we'll grab a blueberry also. And grab that water. Refill it up. So yeah, we only have 50 nails, uh, which is not a ton, considering you know how much it costs to do the repairs. So we're going to uh, hold off on uh, more building at this point. You guys are supposed to be in here. Okay, let's grab the chicken. I'm just gonna put the chicken in here for now uh, because we're in really good shape food and water wise. Okay, let's head on back out. So, uh, where's the sun? All right, so it's a noonish, maybe very early afternoon or very late morning. So, 
that gives us enough time to run up to the arch and maybe even to the Central Valley again to look for a crate um, we could we could maybe go up to the Birchwood instead and thread the needle between Alpha and Charlie yeah why don't we do that just for a change of pace just for a change of pace so we'll go this direction Charlie's working on their second story now and coming along and we will be raiding them at some point but we probably won't do that until winter's over and the reason for that is because you know, I feel like we're, we just barely have enough resources to defend and repair. And so I don't really want to go looking for trouble until I feel like I'm, I can afford to, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's go up here. We don't want to get any closer to Alpha, but I feel okay kind of coming up this little path here. we got a wolf over there and a white wolf. I think that's a level three black wolf. Yeah, let's not mess with them if we don't have to. The white wolf's kind of where we want to go, though. Okay, let's go. Let's kind of peek our head up this way. We're not going to. No, that's too close to alpha. Yeah. Let's get, let's get around and we'll kind of circle around that white wolf and go around the backside. Just kind of skirt the birchwood. Kind of sucks that we have hunters in the birchwood because birchwood's a really good place for resources. But we'll make do. Okay, we got an ammo crate over here. And I think a medicinal crate. There we go, shotgun shell. I'll take that for sure. Our shotgun is fully loaded too, so that gives us a spare now. Uh, we got another white wolf and a black wolf right next to an ammo crate. And the black wolf is a level one, so we should be able to kill him with our bow. So let's eliminate him, and hopefully that white wolf will keep moving away. Come here, dude. Have to put the axe down here. Kind of a pain to switch about, but I want to keep all of my weapons, bandages, and first aid kits on the toolbar. So that means we have to swap out the tools, unfortunately, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. White Wolf is far enough away from this ammo crate. We need uh, rifle rounds. Look at that. We got rifle rounds and magnum rounds. Fantastic. Okay. That's what needs to happen, man. That's what needs to happen. Let's go down here. Uh, we got a chicken. And let's also get the medicinal plant. And we need those feathers. Okay. I'm not spotting anything else that way. There's Charlie there, but we're far enough away from them not to worry about it. So we got this level two white wolf. Let's run around and avoid him. So we don't have to use a shotgun shell. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back kind of around the... There's a deer the back side of the of the birchwood and I am gonna need to wash my hands you know let's wait a little bit longer because we might end up killing another wolf and then we can uh, wash the hands after that we're gonna hit this oh well that's pig getting cold because we're 
Getting a little higher up. Oh, there we go. Six nails and a feather. I'll take that. Yes, indeed. Let's get the grub tree here. And I think I see an ore node. Well, maybe. Over on that rock over there. Not sure. Looks like Alpha's base is pretty much completed. Pretty sure Bravo's is, too. Okay, let's go around this way. There's another white wolf there. Grab this medicinal. Okay, that wolf is tracking us, so let's run through here. Okay, we lost the wolf. Here is an ore node here. It's a potassium. Is that a crate? No, it's just kind of a squarish looking rock. I think Cold Games puts those in the game just to throw us off. There's a crate over there, but it's a little bit too close to Alpha. Alpha's running back towards the base, but yeah, I don't I think they're fine. I don't think they see us. Okay. What level we got here? It looks like a level three wolf. Let's leave him be for now. We'll hit this grub tree and then we're going to go down to the lake and pop a hole in the water to, to wash up. Okay. Yeah, let's run down here. Oh, can we get to this water? There's a chicken. Um, I don't know if we can... Because you, you have to be in deep enough water for it to let you punch a hole through it. Let's just see what it looks like right about here. Eh, I don't think it's going to let us do it. It's too shallow. All right, well, let's do this then. Let's wash our hands with our canteen. There's a, the smaller glacial pond up this way. Where's the sun? Oh, it's starting to get on in the day, isn't it? It is. There's a moose up there and a wolf and a white wolf and something else. What level is Bullwinkle? What level is this wolf, too? That's a level one. Okay, let's take the level one. Making sure that it, he was on the level with us so we could get him, you know, while he's running downhill. I mentioned in the last episode it's really hard to hit stuff in this game when they're mo when it's, it, they're moving. All right, what level is this wolf? That's a level three. Okay, let's leave that one alone. Um, Bullwinkle. What level are you, buddy? You're a level three. No... I don't think we're going to mess with the level three. All right. Any hunters on this lake? No, I don't think so. I think we're clear. And yes, we are getting cold. Let's punch a hole in here so we can wash up and we'll refill our canteen. This really wears down the ax quickly. All right, let's start heading back towards home because it is getting late in the day and we are getting cold. We're not bad, bad cold yet, but it's going to probably get that way. And we'll run kind of along here and see if we can get ourselves a locked crate. Uh, look at that. As soon as I said locked crate... 
Well, actually, I think it was already here, but it doesn't matter. We got a lock crate. Awesome. And we got a little more ammunition, which is really good. Some boards and some nails. Yeah, that's not a bad locked crate, guys. That is not a bad locked crate at all. We will take it. Wow, look at all these notes. Okay, let's grab these. Um, we want the iron first. It's the most important. I am keeping an eye on my health. We have the heat pack if it comes down to it. Awesome. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're basically going to run along the fence here until we get back to the lake. And then we'll just head straight across the lake back to the base. What is that? Level 1 White Wolf. Level 3... Black Wolf. Let's try and avoid him. There's a chicken. Yeah, we are definitely getting cold and we are definitely running out of stamina. Um... Let's get this scrub tree, and then we're heading straight back to the base. Actually, gain stamina by chopping trees. I don't know. I don't think it's the act of chopping trees directly, but it's the fact that we're not moving and chopping a tr uh, level one white wolf. He's kind of right in our path, isn't he? Uh, let's go around this way. There's another wolf. There's a level one, but we're really close to Bravo there, so let's get out this way a bit. Okay. Okay, let's run back to the base. It's, it's minus four down here on the lake. This is the lowest point on the map, so the cold is no longer an issue as long as the weather doesn't change. But we're almost home anyway, so we're good. We got this. Cool, so we found a locked crate. Increased our ammo back up a little bit. Got a few other resources. And uh, can't complain about that. No sirree, Bob. Let's see how many nails we have when we get back. We might do a couple of structures. Um, what I want to do is I want to, you know, keep working on the, the foundations, but I also want to start putting some walls up here too. And you know, in the hopes that the hunters attack the walls more than the base, because uh, I don't like losing. Uh, what would happen if we, all right, hold on a sec here. We really need to put a base light in here, don't we? So we can all see what does that cost? Yeah, let's do it. They're pretty cheap. Oh, good. We got some plates too. That's fantastic. Okay, so we're up to 67 nails. That's still not a whole bunch. Not by any stretch of the imagination. We have 90 boards, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, we'll put the feathers up there. That goes there. Uh, we won't put that stuff in the mass recycler until we get all, all of our free mass back, so I'm just going to keep that there for now. Anyways, what I was wondering is if we were to take this live chicken 
and butcher our current chicken. Is our current chicken going to give us some decent stuff? Look at that. We got light. Let there be light. And there was light. I love it. Um, Let's try it. What do we got to lose, right? I don't think we're going to get all the fantastic stuff that we would get off of the a level 10 chicken. But do we get a little bit more off of it than we would just a wild chicken? We're going to find out here in a second. Maybe not. Let's get this potassium. Alright, put all this stuff in here. For whatever reason, we can't shift click into <clears throat> the refiner, so you have to drag it in. Oh, we are out of protein. So let's eat that. We'll eat both of those. And how far does that get us up here? Yeah, we're going to need some more too, so let's let's eat both of those and that should get us where we need to be. Those can go in there. We got a couple extra protein bars which we'll just put in here for now. Okay, so if we butcher this chicken, do we get Oh, okay. So we do get premium feathers and we get reared chicken meat okay see I thought they had to be level 10 before I mean you get more I think you get something like six or seven premium feathers from a level 10 chicken but it's interesting that we do get the reared chicken meat I don't think we can do anything with that though uh, without the uh, without the the pan because the pan will let us make chicken soup with that uh, okay, well, that's good to know. We'll keep that in there, and then, you know, eventually we'll have a whole mess of premium feathers, and we'll make the, the better arrows, but we're not quite at that point yet. All right, let's wash our hands there. Uh, we need to drink, too, so we might as well just redo all of these. Okay, and you're cooking fat up. So we got a nice little collection of nine mils. Uh, I suppose we could start using those a little bit if we wanted to. I still prefer using arrows whenever we can, though. And, yeah, we got a f almost another full magazine of 44s. And almost another full magazine of shotguns. So that is a good thing, because like I said, we really were starting to get low on ammunition there. How are we doing on our crops? Very, very slow. <clears throat> I am tempted. I am tempted to make a grow light. Uh, at least maybe for the one that, you know, is doing cotton and tomatoes, which is the most important thing. Uh, why don't we... Um, we've got... Uh, three ingots. There was something else. Uh, oh, I guess it was the pot. Uh, why did that turn off? Oh, because it ran out of fuel. The pot requires six ingots. We have all the other stuff. So if we get the pot, we can make chicken soup and we can make tomato soup, which is really good. Uh, what else can we make with that? Mashed potatoes, boiled eggs. Oh, and jam, too. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, we're going to make it. Definitely going to make it at some point. But, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of thinking maybe what we should do is make, make a grow light for the crop plot. So, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. So, what do we need for that? Uh, we need one rope, some scrap. And some electricals. We can put that back. Um, let's just grab that. We're going to have to make the rope, which we have the stuff to do. Compliments of the moose kills we've gotten recently. 
And let's just go ahead and get a grow light going on one of these. We'll, and I, like I said, we'll eventually get it on all of them. But, you know, we have to be very judicious at this point what we make because resources are so limited. And that is, after all, kind of the, the nature of this game, isn't it? Uh, no, we got to do that over here. Okay, so we just need 80 mass to make the grow light for here. And we have 75. So normally I would would not do this, but since we're so close. Oh, that's only going to give us one. <laughs> that's okay. Okay, well, let's do this then. Uh, let's start you back up. And we're just going to run this uh, until we get up to 80. It's only going to take a couple seconds. In fact, it's almost there. There we go. I don't like to use the mass fabricator if we don't have to, but sometimes it just makes sense to do it. There we go. We got ourselves a grow light. Fantastic. Okay, let's turn it on. And now we should have 100% light. Cool. And like I said, we'll make another one for this this crop plot too. I mean, how much power does that actually use? Let's turn this light off now. And so nothing else is running except for the grow light. It doesn't use that much power. Okay. I'll think about whether or not it makes sense to make another one right now. Well, when I say right now, I mean when the mass builds back up. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right. I think we're low enough there to warrant using a fuel brick on that. And these can go back in here. All right, guys. Well, I think that's probably a good stopping point uh, for today's episode. Um, so it is the next day, but the weather is crappy. So what I'm probably going to do is, is spend another off-camera day or two uh, just, you know, doing some looting uh, around the base. Uh, and so just kind of staying closer to the base in this area here, looting on the island and, and so forth. Uh, we do need, excuse me, we do need another lock pick, but we're going to have to wait for mass uh, to make that. Do I have the iron to make it? I do. Um, yeah, so... <coughs> I will bring you guys back in another day or, <coughs> excuse me, man, I something in my throat. Sorry about that. Another day or two, in-game day or two, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.